What's up, everyone? It is, uh, what is today? Tuesday. Because it's new movie day. I just went to Redbox and got a movie. Masterminds? Anyone seen it? Got terrible reviews. The critics hated it. Same guy that directed, uh, Napoleon Dynamite directed this. And, uh, it's got a couple funny actors in it, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, I'll probably like it because I like a lot of movies that the critics hate. Uh, just got my Starbucks! Got the Cascara Latte. Finally figured out how to freaking pronounce that thing. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good coffee. I'm still uh, a little congested here. I got my freaking replenishment of my Diet Peach Snapple, which is the shiz! Freaking love this stuff. Got two of those things. But the real reason you're watching me right now is not to look at all the freaking groceries I just bought, but it's because I'm doing a pre-work hunt. I'm in Columbus. I'm only here for the day, going back to Cincinnati uh, after work today. It's 7.38 in the a.m. It's raining here. Kind of assy. Kind of assy! I'm going to Walgreens right now. I'm hoping to actually score... I know Walgreens has been getting a lot of the Guardians wave. I don't think they've been getting the X-Men wave. But I'm really trying to score that last figure I need in the Guardians wave. Vance Astro. Because I need the freaking Titus leg. That's why I need that figure. He's an all right figure. He's uh, the future guardian of the galaxy. Thing in the year, like 3000 or something. Uh, but he's all right. He's all right! So I'm going to Walgreens right now. I'm gonna see if they got that. Uh, I might get the John Stewart pop too, if they have that. I think that's everything that people are finding at Walgreens right now. I saw a picture of that Juggernaut pop. I don't think it's out yet. I don't think it's released yet. I think it was just a, uh, a preview of what's to come. But I'm uh, going to hit this Walgreens. I'm in the parking lot right now there. Um, but uh, let's see what Walgreens has. And then uh, lunchtime hunt, I'm probably going to hit a Target and a Toys R Us. So that's the plan. Maybe a Walmart. Might hit Walmart too. Because uh, I really want to try and find those freaking Rebels Pops. The exclusive Walmart Rebels Pops. And I really want to try and find those freaking three packs. Uh, I have never seen those in the wild. So I'm hoping to find those somehow, somewhere. That's the plan. I'm going into Walgreens. Show you what they got. Show you what they got. And uh, I'll see you in there. So I am uh, all done at Walgreens. Uh, clearly, you didn't see any footage in there because if you want to see what this Walgreens had, Go back to a couple videos ago when I was in Columbus and I went to this Walgreens and it's the same exact stuff. So uh, nothing new, obviously no Guardians wave, no new pops, uh, just the same old stuff. They have a freaking, they are sitting on a ton of the uh, Juggernaut wave, Namor, and the uh, yellow suit Daredevil. A ton. So I don't know if they're gonna put out new stuff because they have a surplus of those figures here. So I don't know if they're gonna um, be able to put out anything new because there's like no peg space for anything new. Uh, but that's uh, that's all right. I'm gonna keep looking for uh, Vance Astro. He seems to be the least popular one in that entire wave. So uh, hopefully I can find him. But uh, I'm gonna hit a um, Target Toys R Us at lunch today and um, maybe a Walmart. So that's the plan. I will see you guys for my lunchtime hunt. I'm gonna go have a productive morning and I will see you guys later. Bye. What's going on? It is a lunchtime hunt for me on Tuesday, the 28th of February, last day of February. We are almost two months completed in the year 2017. I had a hell of a productive morning today. I actually have a new uh, direct boss. And my boss is my uh, friend for 13 years. Um, he used to be my colleague. We were in different departments. But now he is my direct supervisor. So it's very weird for both of us. Because, uh, again, we've been friends for 13 years. He was my best man at my wedding uh, when I married uh, Mrs. Cincy. So it's a little strange. Uh, obviously, from his perspective, he can't uh, be seen that he's like giving me preferential treatment because we're friends. And then uh, at the same time, I can't talk to him the same way that I have talked to him in the past. We can't really call each other uh, 
a-holes or douchebags anymore. We have to be more professional towards each other. So just a little uh, weird, but I actually like it because uh, we're acting more professional towards each other. That's enough about my job. So I'm on a lunchtime hunt right now. I just got done at the post office, had to drop something off there, but I am uh, excited to get to Target and Toys R Us. I'm actually gonna go to Target first because uh, Toys R Us rarely restocks on Monday. So if I go to Toys R Us first, I'm basically sifting through the crap that no one wanted over the weekend. Whereas if I go to Target first, there's a good chance I might catch them on a fresh restock. So uh, I haven't checked BrickSeek. I haven't checked any DPCIs. I'm not sure if they have the X-Men Legends Wave. I'm not sure if they have the freaking uh, Weapon X Pop. Obviously, I'm hoping they have both. Really hoping to get some of those X-Men Legends. That's what I'm doing, going to Target first, gonna see if they have anything. Uh, and then I'm gonna hit Toys R Us. And I'm very, very freaking hungry right now. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna hit Walmart. Uh, I might just grab a bite to eat, bring it back to my office and um, eat it while I work at my desk. So that is the plan. Going to Target, going to Toys R Us. I will see you guys there. Right, so I'm uh, all done at Target. I did not, whoa, my phone just went freaking flying. Uh, I didn't buy any, actually I did buy something at Target. I didn't buy any figs at uh, Target. Um, so they had some Guardians there. They only had two Star Lords, a Dark Hawk, and an Angela though. So no sign of Vance Astro. Kind of surprising to see Dark Hawk and Angela on the pegs, but no freaking Vance Astro. Uh, so that was a little surprising. He checked his computers to see if they were getting any more in, and uh, he said no sign of them coming in anytime soon. He also scanned the DPCI for the X-Men Legends. He said uh, no sign of those coming anytime soon. And then I asked him about the Wolverine pop, the uh, Weapon X pop, and he said that um, they're so it says they're sold out, but he said that his computer's getting more on Thursday, so they'll be available Friday morning. So. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this video up in time for you to see that, but uh, if you're in the Columbus area, that's the uh, Target on Sawmill Road. Obviously, I'm not gonna be here. I'm gonna be back in Cincinnati, but if you're in the area and I get this video up fast enough, then you can go and get a Weapon X pop Friday morning. Unless some scalper steals them all and charges three times the amount for them. Uh, but uh, that's just some FYI there. Um, Again, I didn't get any figs, but I did buy this, Doctor Strange on Blu-ray, which I didn't even know was out this week. I thought that was coming out next week for some reason, but um, really freaking excited to watch this again. I loved it. I loved this movie in the theaters, so i um, looking forward to watching that. <clears throat> but that's all I got at Target. Just got that Blu-ray. It is new movie day after all. But uh, that's it for right now. I'm actually sitting in the parking lot of Toys R Us. So I'm gonna go see what they got. Hopefully they got something good for me and uh, I'll see you inside. All right, so I'm all done at uh, Toys R Us, and uh, for the WWE fans, wow, they were loaded there. Uh, so they had the new wave, they had uh, like two or three AJ Styles figures, and I know that one is a pretty popular figure to get. They had uh, the Asuka, 
I really, um, I almost bought that Asuka figure. I just, I'm not a huge fan of her as a wrestler. I don't know what it is. If it was an Alexa Bliss figure, I would have definitely bought it. I did pick up the new Kevin Owens figure, and I got this one, not mainly for the belt, but it certainly helps that he has that new uh, Universal Championship belt. That's an awesome looking red belt there. So I picked this one up. I already have a Kevin Owens. I, I have the one that uh, comes with the NXT title, but I think he comes with the NXT title. Um, maybe, I don't know. But uh, very happy to get this one. And again, that belt looks badass. So I got that. And then obviously I found a chase, a chase Dorbs in the wild. The Skeletor from the Masters of the Universe. Um, I was very tempted to buy the other Dorbs in this collection. I really like that He-Man. The He-Man looks awesome. They had all of them except for Faker and, uh, what's her? She-Ra. I keep thinking Tila. That's a different character. But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool Skeletor right there. Chase figure. Uh, excuse me. But, uh, I was very freaking surprised to find that. Um, the guy that was uh, stocking the shelves said that they had just gotten the truck in last night. So uh, I know at the beginning of this video I said that Toys R Us usually doesn't restock on Mondays, but they just proved me freaking wrong. So uh, clearly the uh, WWE Elite figures were just recently restocked because they had the Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, I think that figure is going for a lot of money right now on uh, eBay. People are scalping that guy, um, but I ordered one on Amazon and I think it's supposed to arrive either today or tomorrow. So I don't want to buy them twice. Um, but I hate when that happens, when you buy something like online and it's in the process of shipping to you and then you freaking find it in the store and you just want to buy it in the store and have it. And then you have to like have patience and you're like, all right, it's going to arrive. It's going to show up in the mail. But then the back of your mind, you're thinking, what if it shows up and it's broken? Or what if it shows up and the paint's all jacked up? Then I missed out on this opportunity. I'm going to come back here, try and get the Nakamura and he's going to not be here. So. That's what's going on in here, in the old noggin. Uh, that Nakamura looks awesome. I can't wait to get it. Hopefully mine has uh, good paint apps. But uh, yeah, they were loaded as far as WWE figures here. This is the Toys R Us on Sawmill Road in the Dublin area. Uh, but yeah, if you're an elite fan, Nakamura, Asuka, KO with the red belt, and uh, AJ. They got them all here. Um, but that's it. No new pops, no chases there, no new legends. I was disappointed to find no legends that I was looking for. Uh, they're clearancing out their Doctor Strange ones. I think they're marked down to $14.98. And then um, there's a lot of coupons that are that people have right now. It's an extra 20% off of clearance. I've actually got one right now, but I just haven't found anything on clearance that I wanted. So they're clearancing those out, getting those out hopefully, and then we'll see some new legends on the pegs. But uh, still looking for at least my very first freaking sighting of the X-Men Legends. Haven't seen them at all in the wild. Uh, I'll keep looking. Uh, still looking for that Weapon X pop. And uh, still looking for that Vance Astro. So that's it for this haul. I'm going back to work. I'm going to get some freaking KFC for lunch. That sounds damn good. I'm going to get some KFC. Eat at my desk. Get some work done. Attend some meetings. Go back home. See the fam. See my mom. By the way, update on my mom. She's out of the uh, rehab facility. She is uh, currently up and walking with a walker. So she's still trying to get her strength back so she can go back to doing Zumba. Uh, hopefully she'll cool it on the freaking Zumba because I think that's what jacked her up. But uh, she's uh, currently staying at our house. Uh, so she's not at her condo. She's going to give it a few days at our house. Uh, use the walker. We're going to take care of her if she needs any help. Uh, so far she's been doing great. But uh, my mom's doing better. A uh, little update on Tay Tay. This is kind of scary. We, uh, Mrs. Cincy took her to the doctor because she's had a reoccurring ear infection. Parents out there that are watching this video uh, with little kids, you know that ear infections are freaking so prevalent. Like, it seems like a kid has an ear infection like freaking five or six times a year. It's crazy. Um, I didn't get ear infections as a kid. I don't know about you guys. But I don't remember ever getting a freaking ear infection as a kid. I just got sick and then got over it. But it seems like every time they get sick, they get a freaking ear infection. Well, Mrs. Cincy took uh, Tay Tay to the doctor. They took a little freaking swab and swabbed the nasty out of her ear. And she has a freaking staph infection in her ear, which is scary as hell. Because anytime you hear staph infection 
and the fact that it's in her ear near her brain, as a parent, you freak out a little bit. And I freaked out a little bit. And then Mrs. Enzi started Googling stuff and seeing how people had to get surgery and get part of their skull and brain removed. And we're freaking out. We're freaking out legitimately. So we called the doctor, talked to the doctor. Thankfully, it's not a serious staph infection. It's a very minor staph infection. But still, staph, that word, you gotta do something about it. So they prescribed us some uh, super ear drops. They also prescribed us some uh, antibiotics. So she's got to take those. Hopefully that staph infection will go away, but that was a little scary. So um, sorry to go on so much about stuff that's not toy related, but you know, people ask me about my family and whatnot and want updates on my mom since I told you guys about that. So I figured I'd share, but uh, hopefully I didn't bore you guys. Thanks for joining me here in Columbus and I'll see you guys later. I'm going to get some KFC. Bam. What's going on everyone? Uh, Cincy Nerd here back in Cincinnati. I'm at the Nerd Bar and I wanna share the things that I picked up today on my hunt. And I also wanna unbox some P.O. Box pickups. I got a few packages here. I'm excited to open them, see what's inside. But uh, as you can also see, I was very excited to open the Kevin Owens figure that I picked up today because I already took him out of the freaking package. Uh, so here is the package this is the new kevin owens elite figure that comes with the universal championship which looks awesome they have a little table with a little uh skirt for the championship itself <clears throat> there's a close-up of the belt uh, but i thought this was very very cool i partly got this figure for this belt and for this table and also for the owens figure itself because i'm a huge kevin owens fan kevin steen fan but uh, it looks awesome. I like this head sculpt a lot more than the first head sculpt. Um, I actually still do like the first one. Here's the first figure. So just to show you the differences in the way they look. Uh, I definitely think that the new one looks a lot more like Kevin Owens. Uh, the first one, I don't know. It didn't really look like him in the face. But uh, it's still a pretty cool figure. The first one also came with the NXT belt. But uh, there is the differences there. You can see there's differences in like the hair as well. The new one has spikier hair and um, the old one has like a fade going on. And then the uh, old one has uh, not as full of a beard. So few differences. Um, I still like both figures. I'll keep them both. Because um, like I said, I'm a big KO fan. But... Uh, that is the new one. Very happy to pick that one up. Um, <clears throat> I also picked up my first Dorbs figure because I found a Chase sitting on the shelf at Toys R Us. Got the Skeletor Chase Dorbs figure. So very, very cool there. I do believe that they also make a Prince Adam um, Chase, which I'll also be hunting for. So <clears throat> got that. When I got back to uh, the house, I had a couple things waiting for me, including this, which uh, I saw at Toys R Us. You can't really tell what's in there because I already unboxed it. It's Shinsuke Nakamura. So this is um, one of the um, WWE figures that I've been looking forward to the most because I'm a huge fan of Shinsuke Nakamura. I watched him in uh, New Japan uh, Pro Wrestling, but uh, there he is. I already unboxed him looking awesome. Very, very, very cool. Like I said, huge fan of Shinsuke. And uh, this looks so freaking cool. I love the head sculpt. The hair looks really cool. And um, he's awesome. They did a great job with this figure. He also comes with this uh, second uh, shirt if you want to put this like red shirt on him as opposed to this one. But um, he is... A very cool figure and I would definitely recommend picking him up if you are a Nakamura fan. I also received this Marvel Collector Core box which I'm gonna go ahead and unbox right now. Um, I know a lot of you have already seen the pop inside. Um, I saw a very quick glimpse of the pop and then I X'd off of it real quick because I didn't want to spoil it for myself but uh, like all Collector Core and Funko boxes that I do review. This will contain spoilers. I will spoil the contents of this box for you, so if you don't want to see what's inside, you might want to skip ahead in the video. But I'm going to open this up, I'm going to review the contents, tell you what I think, tell you what uh, I think of the pop, tell you what I think 
of the value of this box and then uh, show you the shirt and uh, hopefully the shirt fits. Uh, I'm not sure what the shirt looks like. I don't know if it's a dark shirt or a gray shirt. I found that the uh, sizing is pretty inconsistent with these boxes. Uh, usually if it's a navy blue or black shirt, it fits pretty true to size. I wear a large. Uh, this is a large right here. I got this, I think this is a T Fury shirt. But if you get a gray shirt in here, like a ringer T, like the Xavier shirt or the, uh, there was an, I think it was an Age of Ultron shirt, those things run super small. Uh, so like I wore a large and uh, the large for those fit like a medium or even like a larger small. Um, so for like the gray, the gray shirts, you really need a larger size, but you can't change your size like midway through your subscription if you're subscribing to these. So you're just kind of screwed. So I'm going to open this up right now. I'm going to run through it and uh, show you what's inside. So first things first, the uh, the theme of this is superhero showdowns, by the way. So patch and pin. Here's the patch. As you can see, it's Ultron facing off with Iron Man, and I really, really like that patch. It's a very, very cool patch. This pin is also very awesome. Looks like it's the Red Hulk versus uh, Bruce Banner Hulk. Uh, but that is freaking awesome. I hope we eventually see the Red Hulk in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mean, they already have Thunderbolt Ross on there. That would be awesome if we saw freaking Red Hulk on a movie screen. So it looks like, preview for the next box, it's going to be Guardians of the Galaxy related, which makes sense since the movie's coming out in May, two days after my birthday. Very excited to see this movie, but uh, next box will be Guardians related. All right, so the shirt is the first thing that I see, and yes, it's a black shirt, so that means it'll actually fit. Let me show you what the shirt looks like. So it's like a uh, throwback, kind of like to, it looks kind of like they're trying to homage like an old comic book cover, it's got like the 12 cents on it. Spidey versus Goblin, so it's a Spider-Man versus Green Goblin pop. It looks like a comic book cover. Uh, but yes, dark shirt, so it'll fit. And uh, I really like this shirt. And I will definitely wear it. So very, very cool shirt. So far, it's a, uh, it's a very solid high grade. Because I love the shirt. The pop and the pin look cool. Let's take a look at the pop and the pin. The patch and the pin look cool. Let's take a look at the pop now. All right, so yes, I did see a glimpse of this pop. Let me make sure that mine is in good shape. And when I say pop, we did get two pops for this collector core box. And mine appears to be in mint condition. So very cool there. This is freaking awesome. All right, so we have Bullseye which I don't think I've ever seen in a pop form before, but I've always been a fan of Bullseye because I think he's a great villain. It's Bullseye versus Daredevil from what looks like to be Shadowland. Uh, the short series where Daredevil was kind of, um, was he evil? I know he was in charge of like the, f not the foot, the hand. Man, I am not on a roll tonight. Uh, he was in charge of the hand. Um, in Shadowland and that was a really cool series so this is a really cool looking pop looks like he's got like a freaking dagger on his arm I don't ever remember Daredevil having like a knife or a dagger on his arm like that but I love the pose I love how it's like a jumping pose um, I love how the bullseyes like ready to fight he's got the sigh in his hand and the uh, the card this is awesome this is very very cool Great, great job, Marvel, on this pop, or on this dual pop. So, so far, this box gets an A. So let's see what else is in here. I'm expecting a couple other things, obviously a comic book and then some other small item. The small item appears to be a pint-sized Heroes. As you can see, there's a cap and a red skull there. There's a red skull on the front. Uh, I wonder if you get either or in here or if it's definitely gonna be a red skull um, I'm just gonna open it up and find out I don't know if you yeah it's a red skull so one of these guys little pint size um, what is that 
It's like a pint-sized door. It's like a mini door. But he looks cool. I think it looks pretty good. It's a cool looking red skull. So I uh, got that. Is there anything else in here? Nothing else in here? <clears throat> Ooh, I didn't even notice this. So you get two of these. Little uh, pint sized dorps and yes, you get the other one too. You get Captain America. This is cool, look at that. So it's like the uh, old style Captain America with the old school, was that golden age shield? I did not know that. I thought you got like either or. I did not know that you got both of them. So that's awesome. And that makes sense because it's like a superhero showdowns box. So you, you would figure you would get both, but that's very, very cool. I love that. So I'm not like a huge fan of Dorbs. Um, obviously, I just bought my first Dorb there, but that's cool that you get both Cap and Red Skull in this box. Very, very awesome. And then the comic book. Now, this is a comic book I can definitely get behind because I did not buy this issue in the stores. Um, I think my comic book store sold out of it, actually. But um, I am really, really looking forward to the new X-Men series. Uh, they're kind of going back to their roots and they're doing like, I think it's like a, a blue and a gold team, I think. But uh, going back to like classic looking costumes, really big X-Men teams, it looks awesome. But this is the lead-in for that. This is the lead-in series, Inhumans vs. X-Men, number one. So this is an actual comic book. It's not like a freaking reprint or anything like that, like they've done before. But this is an actual number one issue variant cover. So I am 100% behind this. I love how they do this. I don't really like when they do reprint comic books. Like, they just take an old comic book and then they slap on... Uh, a new cover with a bunch of Funko Pops on it. I like when they do an actual current comic book that's currently on the stands. This is a $6 comic book, as you can see right here. This is the first issue. That's a $6 comic book if you buy it on the stands. And this is a variant cover that you can only get through this box. Uh, I would say that this box is definitely, definitely worth an A uh, as far as a letter grade. And it definitely offers great, great value. When you consider that these boxes are $25, and then you pay like $6.95 for uh, the shipping, so it's like $31. Bucks. I mean, you're looking alone right here. This is a $6 comic book. So if you subtract that from the $25, it's $19 for the stuff. Uh, I would definitely say that this is like a dual pop. That's like $20 right there. That's like a $20 thing right there. So you've already got your value. So you're basically getting these two, the patch, the pin, and the shirt at no cost. If you were to buy two pops, like a double pack, and this comic book on the stands, it's going to cost you like $20 uh, or more. Uh, so yeah, this is a great deal. This is an awesome, awesome box. I heard that some people were not very happy with this box. Uh, I'm not sure why, because I think it's a great deal. Awesome shirt. Very, very cool looking dual pop there. I, I even like the mini dorbs. I think it's cool that you get both Cap and Red Skull. I was happy with just the Red Skull. But um, the fact that you get both and this comic book, great, great deal. Um, if you don't subscribe to the Marvel Collector Corps, I would absolutely recommend uh, maybe starting a membership. And uh, when you start a membership, you can actually buy older boxes. I think this is a good box to buy. So yes, definitely recommend this. <clears throat> Uh, but let me move on. So that was that. Great box there. Great fig so far. Having a pretty good video so far. Um, but I have some things to unpack. We could have been somebody. Said you had to tell somebody. Let's take it back to the first party. When you tried your first smiley. It came out of your pocket.